Hey guys, Doctor and Doctor again. We're gonna talk about switches now. Yay! All right. So the main thing you need to know about switches is that they're a very wide variety. Okay, very wide variety. There are so many different kinds of switches you can do it in so many different ways. It's been done so many different ways before. Uh, I can't tell you. I, I'll do a whole other video about all a ton of different kinds of switches, but I can't even cover them all because there's so many. All right. Uh, the next thing you need to know is that they they don't have any polarity. Well, usually, if uh, if the switch is a uh, semiconductor based, like a transistor, uh, what, what um, may it be a bipolar junction or a field effect transistor? Both of those um, they they do have polarity, but that's just because they're it's the type of silicon, the P and N type silicon. Um, anyways, yeah, usually they don't have polarity. Um, when we have a uh, when we have an open circuit, that means that the circuit is not flowing. There's no electrons flowing through the circuit. But when it's closed, that means it's, it's closed. And let me show you why that's intuitive. See, if we have a, a switch that's open like this, it's actually open. See how there's, the gap is not bridged. There's no way for the electron to get from here to here. But when it's closed, the switch closes. This is the schematic symbol for uh, uh, a regular switch, by the way. Anyways. The uh, um, when it's closed, it's like that, and the electrons can flow. Um, a normally open switch <coughs> is a switch that has a spring return, and it will go to open. And a normally closed, it'll normally return to closed. All right? Um, this would not apply for like uh, an on-off switch um, or like a slide switch or something because those are indicative of the uh, um, well, you choose. Um, Next, momentary versus push-on, push-off switches. A push-button switch is a, a, a that's where you push. It's like a, the big red button. You push it, and it'll do something. A momentary switch, you have to hold it down, and it, it'll do something. A normally closed um, will, when you push it, it'll open up the circuit. Normally open will, when you push it, it'll close the circuit. Okay? But momentary, you push it, it's on. You push it again, it's off. All right? And this is the schematic symbol. It makes sense because when you uh, have a push button you take this piece of metal right here and it, it pushes down and it it uh, completes the circuit that way all right um, next a circuit breaker that's also a, a type of switch and what it does is uh, when the current reaches a certain threshold it'll open up the circuit just like this it'll it'll go from here and then it'll open it up and then you can reset it that's what's awesome about circuit breakers and I'll I'll talk a lot more about switches later but uh, we need to move on right now um, the last thing I want to go over is uh, the type of um, poles and throws, okay? Uh, a SPST, whenever you see that, that means single pole, single throw. That means it has one pole and one throw. That means um, it only has one lever of action, okay? And this this action can only go to one place, right? So it'll connect it right here. Now, uh, single pole, double throw. See, there's one pole still, but there are two different settings you can set it to. So you have the the power comes through right here, but if you choose the um, the middle setting, it won't go anywhere. If you choose over here, it'll go this way. If you choose to switch it that way, it'll go that way. So that's a single pole double throw, and then we have a double pole single throw. So that means, um, or that would actually not look like that. That would look like that actually. So um, sorry about that didn't plan that very well. Anyways, um, there's two different power sources that you can get. Usually it would actually be like that though. Um, and in one throw, both of those power sources are connected. Okay. And then the, finally this double hole, double throw, that means that um, the, uh, there's two different power sources that can go to two different areas. Okay. As opposed to just two different power sources go to one different area. Two it's just like this, except there are two poles and two different power sources. Okay, that's all. The, that's the basics for switches. That's really all you need to know for right now. See you in the next video.